Welcome back, it's Abyss, and in this video, I'm going to talk about some tips and tricks that I wish I knew earlier. All right, so the first up is the fastest way to farm gold. So you wanna play the main story up until you get the fishing pole. Now I have an in-depth guide in the description below where I show you the locations to all the fishes, so I recommend that you check out that. Now the reason why you wanna locate all the fish is because you wanna complete the Fisherman Gambit's quest line Every time you complete a quest, your fishing skill is going to go up one. So this is going to make it easier and faster to catch fish. So now I do have another guy where I tell you the fastest way to farm gold, but I'm going to quickly break that down right now. You want to go to the Eastern Road and you want to use earthworms, which cost 10 gold. And you want to farm the Royal Fish because every time you catch and sell one, you sell it for 4,000. So I already did a test in the other video and every 10 minutes you can catch 21 of those fish. So you can make 84,000 in 10 minutes. So the main reason why you're gonna need a lot of gold is all the weapons that you need to purchase is gonna cost you around 215K. In order to unlock another ending, you need to collect all 33 weapons. There's another trophy and achievement where you have to collect 1 million in gold, plus all the upgrades. So needless to say, you're gonna need a lot of gold in this game. So again, the best location, Eastern Road, Earthworm Bait, and farm the royal fish which sells for 4,000. Next let's talk about the best weapon that you can get early in the game during part 1. So when you go to the blacksmith you'll notice a weapon called the beast which will cost you 16,800. Now that you're filthy rich and you know how to farm gold fast you're going to be able to get this weapon a lot easier. But if you can't catch the royal fish right away because your fishing skill is not up there yet you can catch the black bass right here in your village and it sells for 1500. So depending on how much gold you have on you, you're probably gonna to need to catch anywhere between 10 to 11 of these fishes. Then you can go quickly sell them to the blacksmith and get the beast weapon, which is one of the best weapons that you can get early in a game during part one. When you get to part two, then there are gonna be some more weapons that are cost you a lot more money. Then you wanna start farming the royal fish and start saving up for those weapons. But during part one, this is one of the best weapons that you can get early on. Next is how to equip the best words. In the menu under word edit, there's around 120 words that will grant you bonuses to your weapon, magic, dodging, and blocking. Early in the game, you wanna scroll all the way over to the right and select equip the best words. This will automatically equip the best words that you have in your inventory. To my surprise, the game actually does a really good job equipping the best words that you have in your inventory. Other games will probably pit what they think is the best, but this one does a really good job of actually putting on the best words. Now later on in the game, when you start getting the better words, then you wanna start messing around with different combos so you can maybe double your damage output. But early in the game, just have the game automatically equip the best words. Now keep in mind, if you end up getting a word that's better, you're gonna to have to go into the menu and equip that word. You can still do the same thing by scrolling all the way over and then equipping the best word. Another thing to note is you have to equip every single weapon, every single magic spell. So it's just 10 times easier to have the game just equip the best words and just keep an eye open for whenever you get a new word and then test it out later on in the game and see if you can find a better combination. But for the time being, trust the system and have the game do it for you. Next, let's talk about some recommended game settings before we get into combat. So when you select game, uh, there's a couple settings I recommend that you turn on. Uh, if it's not on already, just make sure the enemy HP gauges is on along with the bosses. Make sure that one is on too. Keep scrolling down. Auto sprint, turn that off. The way this works is when it's on, as soon as you start running in one direction, then it will start to auto sprint and make you run faster. But if you have it off, all you have to do is dodge forward and then it will automatically kick in right away. So instead of waiting a couple of seconds, I recommend having this off and you can trigger it at any time that you want. Uh, we go down to weapon quick switch. I have it on tap and the reason why is because when I want to switch to my one handed weapon, I just tap down on the D-pad and it will quickly switch and then I go tap right on the D-pad and I'll switch to my spear, left on the D-pad and I'll switch to my two handed weapon. I like tap versus holding down the button. Tap will automatically do it and it's a little bit easier and smoother while you're in combat. So let me just quickly show you an example of everything. So with the enemy gauges, we're gonna see that in the next section when we talk about combat. For the auto run, 
A uh, reason why I like to have it off is because when you have it off, you can just dodge forward and it will automatically kick in and start running. This is very useful if you want to run at an enemy and do a charge attack. Now with the weapon quick switch, it's easier to tap like if you want to just tap down once and now to go to your one handed weapon, tap to the left, that'll go to your two handed weapon, tap over to the right and that'll go to your spear. It's just faster and smoother just to have it on tap. But try both of them out and see which one you like the best. Okay, next let's talk about some combat tips and tricks. So you can do an uppercut and launch enemies up in the air. On PlayStation, you're gonna do X triangle. On Xbox, it's BX. Basically what you're doing is doing the jump button and then quickly doing the heavy attack, one right after the other. This will apply to all three of the weapons. Now let me quickly show you some gameplay. Next is the sidestep dodge. What you want to do is lock onto an enemy with the R3 and then point the left stick towards the enemy and then dodge. You'll notice my character will circle around to the other side of the enemy. This is very useful against the heavily armored enemies or the ones with shields. So let me show you some gameplay of this. Next, real quick, when you're charging your magic attack, just pay close attention to your book. It will kind of flash. And when you see that flash, that is when you want to release your magic attack. So here's a quick example of that. All right, so next up is deflecting. You want to time the block right before the enemy is going to attack. If you do this at the right moment, you'll see the enemy's weapon deflect. Then you want to quickly counterattack, and this will unleash a powerful move. So let me show you some gameplay. Okay, a couple more tips. Make sure you go to the tavern and talk to Devala. She's going to give you some quests. But more importantly, she'll help pinpoint where these people are going to be at. Got a request here from a shopkeeper who's having trouble with thieves. Stupid thieves. Go give them what for. I wrote down the client's location on your map, so head over there to get the details. Okay, so as soon as you're able to start doing quests, talk to this old man right here on the left. He's going to give you a quest called Boar Hunt. This is a very simple and easy quest. All you have to do is go hunt a boar. Once you defeat the boar, just come back, talk to the old guy. Afterwards, you will then be able to start riding boars. Very useful trying to get around early on. Do you not? All right, and the last tip is, when you go to the desert, you're gonna have to rescue the prince. After you do that, head back into town and then go to the king's mansion. On the right hand side before you enter the king's mansion is a guard. Talk to him and he's going to give you the royal compass. This will allow you to travel through the sandstorm. Alright, there you have it. Those are the tips and tricks that I wish I knew earlier. If there's anything else you would like to add, then please leave them in the comments down below. But other than that, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel. And I will see you next time.